Hey guys, this is Hydro from x -Trade, and this is going to be another um, normal analysis, market analysis, market overview video. And uh, yeah, as usual, let's we'll start off with indices. Start off with the QQQ. Um, go to the weekly chart. Let me remove, actually, let me remove everything. So QQQ had a really strong week. This is like the biggest weekly candle we've had in a really, really long time. Um, things were looking really weak just a week before, and it looked like we could potentially pull back all the way down to uh, 3.30, but we were able to bounce back, and uh, we were up five days in a row this week. Yeah, we were up every single day, so this is absolutely insane because QQQ hasn't done anything like this in a really long time. So let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, really nice rally, right? Um, looks like you, yeah, everything looked really bad here. We were breaking support. Um, you know, we tried to bounce off support and then we broke down, flushed hard, and then we got a sudden reversal and a very, very nice V shaped reversal, right? So, so far, very strong reversal. The volume has been not the best compared to like the down volume days, but that's okay very strong volume and very strong closes um, but now we are running into resistance here we did close above the trend line but there's a chance that we could reject and there's a very good chance we're going to pull back in general but the key is that we have to pull back slightly and make a leg up higher again so if we can do that then i'll be very bullish on qqq um that's pretty much it forming a bull flag here um and potentially ready to break out now so we'll see what happens. Um, but overall, very good action this week. Let's take a look at SPY now. SPY, basically the same exact thing. Let me remove all these lines to make it clean. Uh, and there's the downtrend line. SPY still has room up until until it hits the downtrend line. But um, yeah, it finally reclaimed that 427 support level. So that's a very good thing. A very positive positive thing here and very nice uh, bounce off that 415 level this week uh, let's take a look at the daily chart really strong bounce here and it's definitely very extended now because it had yeah up five days in a row so ideally you want to wait for some consolidation a little pullback and then if it can take out that um, very clear resistance that's at uh, 437 level so if it can take that out then i'll be bullish on spy all right, let's take a look at IWM too. So Russell had a very nice bounce here. Um, it looked like it was about to break down here completely, but very strong snapback rally. So look at the daily chart. Yeah, two gap ups in a row. You don't see that often. Um, so that's speaking a lot to the amount of strength that we have in the current market right now. Uh, this bounce is very, very strong and shouldn't be taken lightly. Um, but yeah, a lot of the small cap names have been capping up on earnings. So that's one reason why we had such a strong uh, rally. But you know, overall, very good bounce. And uh, we are finally breaking that downtrend. So that's a good thing as well. But IWM still has a lot of room. So it can potentially make a move all the way up to 200 gear. Because it's just been consolidating for a while now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. Now let's take a look at individual stocks. Let's take a look at Apple first. Um, <clears throat> so Apple, Apple reclaimed its 173 support level, 174 support level, and has room all the way up to 180 now. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, Apple had a very nice bounce. Now it's uh, it got down on earnings, but ended up closing pretty strong on the day. But yeah, it has room to 180 here now. Let's take a look at AMD. AMD very very strong um, move this week it's finally breaking the downtrend here and it looks really really good uh, I think AMD looks the best it's been looking all year long so far um, and it looks like it's ready for a major move it finally uh, took out that resistance level finally took out that resistance level at 111 and now it has room all the way up to I'd say 117 ish but yeah, very nice move for AMD. Amazon, 
Amazon has been acting really well here too. And uh, yeah, it's just been consolidating the last two days, but it has room up to 142.6. Um, but yeah, and then let's take a look at Google. Google gap down on earnings, but now it's trying to fill that gap. So a very good chance that we could see a move back up to 140. But uh, expect Google to be more weak just because it has a lot of, there's some overhead resistance now. Um, yeah. Meta, Meta has been acting well. It's re it rejected this trend line, but now it's trying to uh, yeah, it's trying to get back to it. But we'll see if it can do it or not. But regardless, Meta um, can use some consolidation just because it had such a strong rally. So some more consolidation would be fine. And I think there's a good chance that it'll just base around this 326 to 307 and chop around for some time and get some rest. Microsoft, Microsoft is making a cup and handle here. Here's the handle and now it's breaking out. Microsoft is very, very bullish. Um, has room to make new all-time highs here. And uh, yeah, not much else to say. Ideally, you want to wait for some consolidation and pullback, but Microsoft seems like a very clear leader to me. Netflix. Netflix had a great earnings report and had a very nice rally this week. Um, yeah, Netflix has room back up to 451. And video. NVIDIA had a nice bounce off that 400 level, and now it has room back all the way up to 476. NVIDIA is just uh, yeah, chopping around in this range, but good action. And it could use that rest since it had such a nice move this year. And then Tesla, let's take a look at Tesla. So Tesla had a very nice uh, snapback rally. It looked really ugly when I lost 200 but it got a nice bounce and uh, yeah we want, to see, we want to see it take out that uh, 226 level and then hopefully go for that gap fill but Tesla looks okay here Tesla doesn't look the best compared to the other big cap tech names just because it has so much overhead resistance now so definitely not as bullish on Tesla as other names but it still looks good if it can take out 226 and that's pretty much all we have for the big cap. Now let's take a look at growth stocks. Let's take a look at ARKK first. All right, this is very messy, so I'm just going to remove everything. So clear resistance around that 44.5 level. Um, and they broke the downtrend this week, so that's a positive. Let's go to the daily chart here. So two strong gap ups, very strong move. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna have some resistance around that uh, forty point seven level, and uh, if it can take that out, then it has a good chance to move up to forty four point five. Um, but yeah, ARKK looks really good. Just needs some consolidation here, and uh, it can potentially make a move out of this uh, uh, big base here that's been forming for quite some time. And yeah, really nice bounce off that 35 level. <clears throat> There's multiple bounces. One bounce here, a couple bounces here, and then a couple more bounces here. But yeah, the 35 level held up pretty well. All right, now let's take a look at some individual names that have been acting well. Um, so Firm is the first one. Really nice cap up on earnings last week. And uh, yeah, if it takes out that 22.5 level, then... Uh, yeah, it has room to make new 52-week highs. And let's take a look at CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike had a really nice bounce off that 172 level. It's been holding up really well. And I think yeah, it's trending Yeah, it's trending very nicely here. And very likely that will make new 52-week highs. But it does have earnings coming up soon, so watch out for that. 11.28. So there's still some time, but yeah. Dash. DoorDash had a very nice earnings breakout here. Broke a very nice uh, downtrend and a really nice volume on the earnings breakout. And now it's making new 52 week highs. And there's a good chance that this could continue to rally. So definitely keep this one on watch. DKNG. This one had a very nice breakout today. Um, had earnings today. Or when I'm recording this, but yeah. Um, Move it. Very nice breakout, very nice volume. Took out that resistance level, and now it has room to make new 52 week highs. And yeah, this one looks really good. 
Um, next up, let's take a look at MSTR. So this is the st strongest crypto name that I've been watching recently. Stronger than Coin, stronger than Mara, stronger than Riot. Um, but yeah, this one <clears throat> has room to make new highs if it takes out that 465 level. And it's been acting very well. Very well. And really nice accumulation signs here in the volume chart. Um, yeah, next up, PLTR. This is probably what I'm, most, I'm the most bullish on right now. Very strong earnings breakout. And yeah, insane volume. That's a really good sign. And it takes a lot of money to push the stock. So very clear signs. Very clear sign that investors are piling into this one. Uh, this is definitely one that you want to pay attention to. And then Roku. Roku had an excellent breakout um, this week. Really nice volume again just like palantir and uh, yeah you want to wait for this one to flag and then consolidate and then this could be one that uh could make a big move in the coming months yeah the weekly chart still looks weak here so looks like it's still basing around this range but with that volume from last week or from last two days there's a very good chance that it could rally hard and then shopify another one So Shopify gapped up here, and ever since it gapped up, it's just been consolidating, and now it's gapping up again. Um, Shopify has room all the way up to 64.5, so yeah, this one definitely has a lot of potential as well. If it, if it can take out 64.5, then it can start a new uptrend here, and then yeah, make another leg up. And then Udemy, this one had a huge move off earnings. Um, yeah, 38% move today, and... Uh, Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Really nice volume. And if it can take out that 13.3 level, there's a very good chance that it can break out and go a lot, a lot higher. Yeah, this stock used to be $32, so this one could be a potential uh, double very quickly. But yeah, that's all I got for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.